Solvent welding is the process of fusing thermoplastic products together. Solvent welding is not gluing. Creating optimal solvent welded connections requires attention to detail, proper preparation of components, and an understanding of all instructions provided in the AquaRise Technical Manual. Refer to the AquaRise Technical Manual for the additional steps that must be followed for solvent welding in temperatures below 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius and above 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius. Here are some solvent welding basics. Remember to use only AquaRise primer and solvent cement and use in accordance with IPEX instructions. Also, always use personal protection equipment in accordance with material safety data sheet documentation. Step one, gather proper tools and materials. Installation requires a pencil, tape measure, cutting tool, a beveling and deburring tool, proper eye and skin protection, ventilation equipment and applicators provided with AquaRise solvent cements and depending on the diameter of the pipe, either the AquaRise one-step solvent cement or two-step solvent cement with primer. Step two, cut the pipe square. Pipe can be easily cut with a wheel-type plastic tubing cutter, chop saw, or fine tooth saw. Do not use reciprocating saws. Step three, chamfer and deburr pipe ends using AquaRise beveling tools. Step four, clean the pipe and fitting with a clean rag. Step five, dry fit the pipe and fitting to confirm proper interference fit. Step six, determine if primer is needed. Use the AquaRise one-step cement for sizes half inch to two inch pipe. Use AquaRise two-step cement with primer for sizes two and a half, three, and four inch pipe. Step seven, proper applicator size is critical to ensuring the correct amount of AquaRise primer and solvent cement is applied. Use the applicators provided with AquaRise solvent cements. When using one-step cement, thoroughly apply one-step cement to both pipe and fitting. When using two-step cement and primer, thoroughly apply primer to the fitting and pipe, and then to the fitting again, followed by cement to the pipe and fitting, and then to the pipe again. Do not use excessive amounts of primer or solvent cement because too much primer or solvent cement can lead to puddling in the pipe and fittings, which can result in product failures and property damage. Step eight, insert pipe into the fitting and where possible, give it a quarter turn and hold it for 30 seconds to avoid push out. Step nine, wipe off any excess cement on the pipe or fitting. Step 10, Follow the set and cure times as outlined in the AquaRise Technical Manual. For more information, refer to the AquaRise Technical Manual or contact IPEX directly. Visit us at ipexaquarise.com.